after we do this. So I'd like you just to get really comfortable in your chair and feel your bottom, just making that connection with the seat and your feet flat on the floor if you can, legs not crossed. And if you want to just try and concentrate on keeping your back straight if you can, with your shoulders relaxed, and hands just resting gently on your knees or in your lap, or just what feels comfortable for you. And you can have your eyes closed if it's comfortable for you to do. And we're just going to breathe through the nose or the mouth, whatever is comfortable for you. So we're just, today's focus is just about breathing and breathing comfortably. So I'm just going to start with my eyes, just cast downwards. And we're going to start by taking three deep breaths. So I'm going to start with the first one, breathing in. And out. Breathing in. And out. And just one more breath in. And breathe out. And now we're just going to settle into our natural rhythm of the breath. And just thinking that as we're doing this meditation, you're going to be hearing sounds that are inside the room. There's going to be sounds that are outside. But these are not distractions. They're not disruptions. They are just simply what is happening around us as we sit and breathe. So just breathing normally. And you can begin to notice that your mind might wander, jumping from thought to thought. But just gently guide your attention and focus back. And you can just concentrate on your stomach <clears throat> or your chest. Because as you breathe, you're breathing in, you'll feel them rise. And when you're breathing out, you'll feel them fall. So just focus on that breath, breathing in and breathing out. Just breathing your normal rhythm. And as your mind wanders, just release the thoughts, returning your attention and your focus, always back to the breath. 
observing the sensation as you breathe in and breathe out. Breathing in, follow the breath in. Breathing out, follow the breath out. Breathing your normal rhythm. The mind wanders, gently guide attention back to the breath, just letting go, being in this moment, just sitting and breathing, breathing in, feeling the stomach rise, breathing out, feeling the stomach fall. Just being comfortable in the stillness, focusing on the breath. mind wanders, gently guide attention back to your breath, breathing in and breathing out. Just sitting and breathing. Always gently guiding your attention back, focusing as you breathe, breathing in, breathing out. Just comfortable in this moment. Getting comfortable just sitting with our breath. So we're gonna just take three deep breaths. So starting with one, breathing in. 
Breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. Last one. Breathing in. Breathing out. Back to our normal rhythm. Slowly opening our eyes. Slowly beginning to move. Doing a little wiggle. Rising my hands above my head. Doing jazz hands, little shake. Oh, do a wiggle all the way down. Booty shake, toe tap. And I'm going to have a drink. Oh, I don't know about you, but I think I'm ready to go for a wee snooze now. <laughs> I'm not sure about sitting down and um, let's focus in on our tangle now. Oh. <laughs> that was too relaxing. So today I'm going to start with, I'm not going to do a frame. I'm going to start with my donut shape like that, that I talked about at the very start. So I'm going to just do a kind of circular shape in the middle. Okay. And then I'm going to go around and do a larger one on the outside. Okay. So it kind of looks a bit like that. Well, maybe a little bit neater. Mine's a kind of squashy, squishy donut. <laughs> but that's what we're starting with. And then I'm going to get my pen and I'm going to start by getting a nice um, shape going. So I'm going to do with my pen, I'm going to start and get a circle shape. OK. And then I'm just going to go around the outside of that circle and I'm going to just do some little circles like a little pearl necklace going all the way around the outside of that circle. And just take your time and just focus on doing those little circles, all of a similar size if you can, just going around. And we're not going to worry if we're, you know, going over either the outside of this donut that you've drawn or the inside, but we're not worried about, we're just concentrating on creating a little shape here. And then I'm going to um, do some leaf shapes now coming off this. So I'm just going to, or kind of petals, I suppose. So I'm going to just kind of do some petal shapes. And I'll just go around and create some. And your little flower is going to have different number of petals than mine. And that is absolutely fine. But just go around and draw some petal shapes around your circle. And this is kind of like the focal point that I'm doing on my wreath. And then I'm going to just go and fill in, in the middle bit, I'm going to do another little petal in the background. So I'm going to go around and between my two petals, I'm going to just have another little petal kind of just coming out.
Just one more there. So just like that. Okay, I've just kind of gone around. <clears throat> And then I'm going to actually aura on the inside of my flower petals. So I'm going to just do on each of them. I'm going to come around and just aura on the inside. So creating like a little frame on those petals. So just on each one. You're going to just create this little aura shape. Just remember to just focus on that line that you are creating right now. And then the same on the ones behind as well. Just create that little frame. Okay, so they've all got like a little pattern. And then I'm going to go very carefully in and I'm just going to wisp out from these inside petals, just really light little wisps of lines just to give that some texture. Okay, just a few little lines just going outwards and upwards just so that you get some lovely texture in your flower pattern. And then in the outside ones, I'm just gonna do some little circles, just coming down and in. So just a little circle. Coming down. So just little tiny orbs or tipple just coming down on those outside circles, or sorry, outside petals. So just a little tipple coming down. And that's just giving it a different texture. So 
I'm just going to do some um, larger leaves now, just coming away from this. So just doing some of that braise tangle that we saw at the start. So where we're going to have some lines going up. And a wide aura. And I'm just going to color that in. Move the one in the middle, just clear. Okay, and then I'm going to do another one coming out. And again, I'm going to come up. And this time I'm going to actually do it the opposite way around. So I'll do that one there. And that one. No, it's not it's the same as it, but I just didn't want to have black up very close to that one. And then I'm going to just turn this around and I'm going to have a leaf sort of coming out here. It's gone off the, the page. And again, I'll do my little lines. I'll just have that one colored in. We we'll have some going behind as well. And then I think I'll just have some on the other side. And then just up above here, I'm going to do some of the little circles like the Bronx cheer. Um, so I'm going to just have some little like berry like shapes. Move another one here. Cut behind there.
So I've just done a couple of little berries. And then I might just do a couple of little fescues there just so that that space is kind of filled in. Just on a few little fescues are just in between. Do a couple more just here. So fescue, if you remember, is just a little line with a little colored dot on the end, and you can have different ones kind of going off. So going around, I think I'm going to have some of the vertigo. So I'm going to just do a line out. And then I'm going to have some of the leaves just going off. And remember, you can make it as bushy as you want. You can add more foliage. Just when it bumps into one of the other branches, just do it like the old Hollywood idea where it just goes underneath. And then I'm going to do some little berries on that. So I'm going to just do some little circles and leave a little highlight. So do a little circle and leave a little highlight. So I'll just show you that closer. So a little circle with a little bit of a white bit on it so that it's like a little highlight. So you're drawing a circle and then you're going to color it in, but you need to just leave a little bit of it white so that it looks like it's got a little um, highlight on it, just like that. Oops, just like that. Okay, so I'm gonna just go along and just add a couple of these little berries in here onto the vertigo, just in different places. And you can put as few or as many as you like.
And I'm just going to do some oh, great. It's just here. Just concentrating just on what you're drawing right now. I'm just going to have a little bit of blocks just in this little bit here, just for the the edge of the the wreath. Is I'm just going to pop some flux in there. And just gently draw some little lines on that again for texture. It's very wispy lines. I'm just going to turn it around that way. And on this side, I'm just going to have some um, little jetties. So I'm just going to draw some circles. Just. That kind of collection, just like that. I'm just going to have some patterns. On this, I'll have that one come that way. It's a slightly different pattern on that, and I'll just and then make the ground on that one.
There's some little lines on that one. I'm just um, an alternating pattern on this zigzaggy one that I've done. Okay. Let's do some little well, let's just what our nice spaces are. I'm gonna just do some little uh, those little batona shapes. So it was like a little um teardrop. Turn it this way actually. Just make it what's comfortable for you. Like a little teardrop. I'm gonna do like a little X through that. Just go off that. I'll do another one over here. So I'm going to start with a little teardrop. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, thanks. And a drum. I think it's easier to do the X first and then draw the teardrop. I think. That's a lot easier actually. We just do a little kind of bend the X first and then the. Sorry, there's pigeons on the roof and they're skating down the. Conservatory roof, there's some noisy sound.
I'm just going to fit some of these kind of in. Some poke ridges coming down into these, just so they're kind of meeting. Imagine that they're dropping down behind those leaves, leaves even. <laughs> I was going to say those leafy. Looks there. Do a little X and have a little Okay. So I might do some little poppins just in this space then. I've got poppins on my So we'll just have some little stalks coming up, a little U shape. And then it's really, I think it's a six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think it's a six sided little um, flower. And just do little crosses on that. So I'm just coming up, that U shape, and then we'll do our little one, two, three, four, five, six. And just have those crossing over. And then some of you might just be able to see the head, so I'm just going to do the U for now, and then the little top. And just see where that's going to come out of. So we'll just see the top of it rather than the actual flower, the way it's tucked into the wreath. You can just see the, the top bit. So one, two, three, six.
Let's have some little orbs in here. Okay. Some little things just coming in there just to kind of fill out that that side line for me. That's it. Okay, so hopefully that's got you back round to the start again. Now, I'm going to just grab my pencils, I think. So I'll do a little bit of shading and then I'll um, maybe add a little bit of colour as well. I'm just going to check. Um, now I can see I might just add a few more little fluxes just in here. So on my um, large flower shape, I'm going to just shade in just at the bottoms of each of the first petals where I've added the lines. Oops, that's not my shading pencil. <laughs> it's just a random pencil, pencil there. Oh, it's all right. So just come in and shade. It's actually quite nice, that one, whatever. Soft pencils, that's quite nice. Let's blend that out. So immediately, it's just getting that. Um, 3D and then I'm going to just come around and go around the edge and shade but leave the center nice and white so that you get that kind of um, jammy kind of look so I'll come in just add a little bit of depth there I'm leaving that center. And then on my little poke roots, I always do just a little shade or just down one side of them, we're just gonna add some shade and I'll probably add some little organic-y kind of dots and stuff to them. So, and I'll have to get in and shade underneath them as well. So I'm going to come in and just shade down one side to start with. But then I'm going to have to go in and um, really get in. So just where it's underneath, I'm just going to shade in with my pencil, I don't want to do it black, you see, so I'm just going to come in and do just add some pencil in there. 
and just kind of shade that out or blend it out, I should say. I'm just doing it with my vertical. I'm just going to kind of concentrate the pen just along where the stem is, just to give it a little bit of depth. I'm going to come in and like make a, a stem shape and then kind of just do a little kind of wave shape out from that to give that some depth. And then I need to kind of come in at the back of this as well and add some color, just lighter. So as well, but just again, lighter. Okay. And that edge as well, just. And then, I think I might get my, um, my red pencil and color, color these berries red. And then on the leaves, I'm just coming on the two sides. Let's blend that. And then where they meet, I'm gonna come in darker. And again, where the flower is, I'm gonna come in darker there too. And come in there where And down on those other flowers. So I'm going to now come where the flower is and just where its leaves are kind of on top of another, or so the petals are on top of another petal. I'm just going to come in and see it down that side just to give it depth and so that you can see that there's layers of flowers here. It's not just one. You've got layers. So it's, it's moving out of that um, one dimension into two dimension into three dimension, basically. So we're hopefully making it three dimensional. Okay, so it's just adding depth all the time. You're just adding more and more depth. And again, don't be afraid to come back in with your um, black pen and just 
add a little bit more in there. It's just really to redefine. Okay, so back to my, my leaves. See how much graphite I've got on here already because I've got quite a lot. Just gonna come in on both sides of those and just leave the center. It's all about contrast. And this one at the bottom is going to have to be, because it's underneath, I'm going to have to come along and do some really to give that depth on either side so that you can see that that one's underneath. That one needs to be a um, darker. And then same on this one. Maybe darker under there. And then just under here as well, where my tipple is, I'm going to just do that darker. Well, just where the edge of the petals are, I'm kind of just darkening down the leaves because it would be darker there because obviously there the petals are all over the top of the leaves. So you would just do the edge of those, the bottom edge of those leaves would definitely be dark in comparison to the top of them. So just kind of get some shade in there because that's going to be darker than the light of the leaves at the edge there. Okay, the same on this side. Just darken down the start of the leaves. Just where those little berries are. Okay. So I think my, my poke rates are looking very bright. So I'm just going to come in and add some shade again to those. And then to my flux as well, we'll just, um, uh, just at the start where you've added that little line, of the wispy line, just add a little bit of colour to that bottom edge of the flux and then just blend that in. Okay, so then with my um, little Saturday plants here, is it Saturday? No, it's not, it's um, Batona, isn't it? I'm going to come into the centre and add um, a little kind of star of shade that I'll blend out. So just in that center bit, just have that kind of radiating outwards. So the center is dark and then as it gets out towards the tips of the leaves, then they're nice and light. Okay, so center's dark and then radiate it out.
And then obviously the ones underneath are going to be a little bit more dark. But still add some blending on those leaves. It's going to poke great the time under there as well. Okay. I'm going to just kind of come down the center of my jetties and leave the, the outside of them nice and light. So I'm actually going to shade where I've done the pattern. And so that the ball part of it's going to sparkle. And be the bit that stands out. Like little shiny orbs. Yeah, that's perfect actually. And then my little poppins. Just add a little bit of shade to the the base of those. Oh, a little bit of greenery. Add a little bit of green to those. There we are, just spotlighting a little bit of colour on each of those things. Just have a little red tinge on the little leaves here. That's a big gem, desperate to be coloured in, but I'm going to leave it for now. <laughs> and then I'm just going to come in and just do a light shade over the top of those little tipples that I've done on my poppins. Just so they're not bright, bright white. Yeah, I think I'm really happy with how that's turned out, actually. And I might come back in and add a bit, a bit of sparkle and stuff to it um, later as well, see how it turns out with some little sparkle. But I, I like that. So I'm leaving the inside as it is, just nice and white. If you wanted to, you could come around the, um, you could come around the edge of the um, wreath and just define some 
kind of edge to it with some shade. So just come in there and There we go, just add a little bit of shade to that, just following the line of your things, but leaving the center. Right, I'm just going to hold it at arm's length and see if I'm happy with it. Don't think it needs anything else. So I'm just going to um, put a little signature. I think I'll just pop it in. Oops, Daisy, in the inside here, just by this little jetty. I'm just going to do a little PB there. Just stuck a little PB just in there, very discreet. <laughs> and then um, I'll just turn it over and we can write all the things that we've done today. I have to remember what we've done. <laughs> so my name, and today's date is the 8th, December 2022. That's my nice Zentangle session. And we have got, so I'll just go Fescue and Batona and um, Blocks, tipple, braise, is that all you called? Vertigo, Bronx cheer. Jetties, oak root, opens. I've done loads, run out of space. Opens. I think that's it. Because the flower is really just a flower with petals. So it's kind of like a circle with some braise fancied. I think that's everything. So I'll leave that there for a second so that you can copy all those down. And then we'll have a look and see how you get on. <laughs>